right, y'all. Insiders, honey, are claiming y'all that Destiny's Child, Miss Kelly Rowland, they're saying, honey, she is setting the stage for a new talk show career. Now, the insider brand, y'all, said Kelly recently started a production company and is launching a social media series called Coffee with Kelly. Now, they're saying it's going to test the waters of fan interest in her hosting the actual talk show. So, a lot of people asking the question, would you be interested in Kelly Rowland having a talk show? Well, I mean, it probably would be nice. I mean, you know, she could talk about Beyonce and let us know the insides, what's really happened with Beyonce. She ain't going to do that. You don't think she'll do that? Mm-mm. She better get, if she want them ratings, she better say something about her. So you know how that goes. Yeah, but then she won't be doing Destiny shots to her. She make, if they fall out, you well, don't Beyonce want them to already, fall out. Beyonce gave them a, a job once a year already. So, honey, she just had to wait for that deal <laughs> time to come around. And honey, when she feel like, girl, I'm going to go ahead and call y'all up, honey. And let y'all come over and perform. Girl, you can't. You still got it. So, <laughs> but anyway, congratulations. Hopefully she get a talk show. Now. I mean, she, and she could be on prime time. So we need another um, African-American woman, honey, doing a talk show. So we got Wendy and we could use Kelly. All right. The color today is one of my favorite autumn colors. My color today, y'all, is Trump. Tricorn on the high end, you say tricorn, and the Lord just say black. That's your color for today. He's half man, half woman. It's Gary. I wanna hip you to the teeth. Mm-mm, it's Gary, baby. All right, 28 before the top of the hour. Gary C is being bought to you by AT&T Dreaming Black. That's right. Pursue your thing. Power possibilities. What up, Gary? Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Tuesday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. All right, y'all. Rapper Joel Santana. You know, everybody knows that he is currently serving time in the pen, y'all. And, you know, they're saying that his absence, honey, from his household is having a dramatic impact on the family. Well, people are giving his beautiful wife, y'all, Miss Kim Bella Vander. They're giving this woman a lot of flack. Now, if you don't know who they are, they're on Love and Hip Hop New York. Now, they're in the process, y'all, of losing their home. Now, they're saying, according to online reports, that the bank is swiftly moving y'all to foreclose on the couple's New Jersey condo. Now, according to the bank, they're sending a the couple on Monday on mortgage payment is only $3,754 y'all for the past year. But they're saying y'all that Miss Kim Bella been skipping out on paying the thing. They say because Kim Bella revealed to the world that, you know, she recently revealed that she even got herself a new butt. And she said, uh, the butt surgery, y'all, honey, like the cost to reality star, you know, the money that she got to pay the rent. So she ain't been paying the rent because she had to take care of her new butt. And people giving her a lot of flack about that. But I don't think they should. This woman is probably depressed. Her husband is in the pen and stuff. She ain't got nothing else to do. So she have to do something to make her happy. So let her buy she play on? Huh? And what did she play on? On Love and Hip Hop New York. Which one? Yeah, uh, Kim Bella. Kim but, Bella. But you, you got to, you know, you know if they ain't, the finances ain't coming in like they used to be because the bread run is locked up. You can't yeah. be doing all this extra stuff but when hey, you know but, you got bills to pay. Well, yeah, but I mean, but if you're going through depression and stuff and, you know, we don't know what he put her through before he went to the pen. So she got to do something to make herself happy. So she did some um, enhancement. So when he come out of the pen, I mean, he'll even love her more because she'll new, be a new person. She'll have a new body. Yeah, you can't sleep on your butt, though. Well, I don't know. She'll be up in the air hanging. <laughs> oh, you look like a hammock. But it, it, looks, it looks very interesting, though, they say. But, you know, she, they say All she... All these women be getting these fake butts. Especially the skin was walking around here looking like ants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It looked like a little ant, honey. Yeah, so... You remember, you remember Tom and Jerry when them ants yes. were walking, walking through with them <laughs> yes, things sir. on their head, Brett? It was a picnic, yeah. That yeah. bone on no, their head, the all of them look like ants. Yeah, so, but anyway, they're saying that her for her foreclosure and her new plastic surgery is going to definitely, honey, be a part of her storyline. So at least, honey, this is going to give her a storyline. So when he get out of jail, they'll still be making money. So cause she have a storyline to talk about why they was put out in the street because she had to buy herself a new bus. So Hopefully she won't be put out in the street, though. Hopefully, Gary, yeah, you know she got a few friends. They could probably give her a helping hand. I know she's friends with Lil' Kim and quite a few other people. Who? So. Kim Bella. Lil' Kim? Yeah, Kim Don't Bella. she need help? No, little oh. Kim is good. She still got some money. Like she got a few, she got a few friends. I think her and Yandy made up. Like it's joel has got people. You know what I'm saying? He got friends. Him and Jim Jones, I think, are cool. So really, well, yeah, they gonna look out for. I for hope I'm sure. So. Cause I feel so bad for Kim, but she couldn't pay the rent to help her body out. Well, so. we all fall on hard times, Gary. Yes, we do. But sometimes we get up. We Speaking fall of hard times, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we 
<laughs> Move it on, honey. Another celebrity news, y'all. Chloe Kardashian say, baby, she is finally forgiving her cheating ex, y'all, Tristan Thompson. You know, after the cheating scandal went on with Jordan Woods. Now, this is what she said. And I think, and we all need to hear this. She said, I don't think, honey, he's a bad person. I think we all make mistakes. She said, we are humans. She also wanted to say, but it's only going to hurt me if I'm going to hold on to this anger, Brad, and playing the victim role. She said, I don't believe in being a victim. I believe in, okay, this happened to me. Let's figure it out. Let's push through it. And maybe if I'm open and honest about it, it can help other people feel like it's okay. We are all him. We are going to get through these things. Mm. Did y'all hear that? And that's true. And she also said, too, but you just can't condemn somebody y'all for sinning differently, Ricky, than you did. I feel like we are all so quick to just exile people, and it's just so heavy to me. Something I'm just focusing on is making sure I am healed from that or as much as I can and try to understand it as much as I can and then don't distract myself. She said, I try to have a lot of time of me time in the morning and that is where I kind of filter through it all. Right. And that's nice. So, so she's forgiving it, but she said right now she's not interested in dating any more black men at the moment. She said, but Tristan has been openly y'all flirting with her on social media. So he want her back. Uh. No, that's Real? good. That's good. Bless her spirit. Yeah, I always him. wanted her back, I think. Yeah, after he cheated on it. And, and all right, yeah, you know, we, we know all the dirt. It's Talking dirt. about Chloe, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, Chloe, bless her spirit, honey. She going to take him back, child, please. And, and ain't he with the uh, the old baby mama? No, I don't think no, he, 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 he No, he ain't with He probably playing know, with her, too. What the hell He's now free to move about the country. Let that go. <laughs> yeah. She ain't no perfection. Yeah, she's a beautiful young lady. But Man, you know, yeah. So that's what he did. So, Chloe, she letting the world know that she's going to definitely take him back. But she did Lamar like a dog, but she showed taking this one here back, though. Um, Tristan, so. She did. She helped Lamar when Lamar was in a coma. She was there for him. Don't say that. Well, she may have been there for him, but she didn't have no baby for him. She had a baby for Tristan, and then he still cheated on her. She should have just had a baby for Lamar, and that would have cut all that out. But she wouldn't have to worry about having a baby for Tristan and still getting well, the media to apologize. Wow. Maybe she could, couldn't have one at the time with Lamar because, you know, he was doing drugs and stuff. So he was, you know, ain't no telling what was going on with Lamar or, or with Chloe. I mean, they had a, she had a child when she was supposed to have one when yeah. God said so. That's right. Oh, okay. You preached the word. Amen. Oh, amen. All right, the color today, honey, is one of my favorite autumn colors. My color today has manganese. On the high end, you say <laughs> manganese, and on the low end, you say beautiful aqua. That's your color for today. All right, y'all, give it up again with the tea. Woo, yeah. Yeah. Mix going down. Rick's Mountain Morning Show. Yes. What's going down? Rick's Uh, Meganese, baby. Blue. What up, Gary? Good morning, Ricky. Good morning to you. It's Tuesday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news. Y'all there said the cat is out of the bag. Yes, honey, it's out. Zoe Kravitz, y'all there said she's going to be playing Catwoman. Now, if y'all don't know who Zoe is, she's the beautiful daughter of Lisa Bonet and Lenny Kravitz. Now, they're saying she's going to be um the new um playing in the new Batman movie as Catwoman. But people are saying, y'all, that it was very interesting considering they said she was allegedly too urban, y'all, for Christopher Nolan's take. Now, now mm. they were saying that the news broke on yesterday that multiple outlets reported that Miss Zoe, honey, had landed the role after testing out some scenes last week opposite hot, hard throb Robert Patterson, who's done in the cow next in Matt well, Reeves, the Batman. Urban. Huh? That means it's too black. It's just too black. That's crazy because she gives me like pure Valley Girl vibes. She can be a valley girl? Not valley girl, but like, yeah. you know, like she don't, you know, she don't seem like one of them concrete roses. You know what I mean? Like, she's not urby urban, but you know, her, both of her parents are black, but then both of her parents are biracial because they both have white parents. But, um, but, but they say, honey, she was too urban. They were saying it was a little bit too urban. But they're saying that, um, the bad man is going to, um, hit the age of y'all in 2021, yeah. But they're saying y'all that, um, Zoe's casting, you know, um, she told, um, um, Mr. Christopher Nolan back in 2015 that she couldn't even get an audition for any of his last bad man flicks, The Dark, um, Night Rises, which she attributed y'all to her race. She said that's not out, but it was definitely a clear blue, too. Now they're saying y'all that Zoe said that she was basically blocked from even reading a small role in the movie, allegedly being told, y'all, that somebody had said that they weren't going urban with the last installment. Now, you know, we had some black cat woman. We had um, Halle Berry. She played cat um, woman once. And Eartha Kitt, they said she played cat woman back in the 60s when that wasn't even um, known to even happen. That was 
really definitely a no-no, but she did that role. So congratulations goes out to Zoe Kravitz, and I'm sure she's going to be a good cat woman. So we'll oh. wait and see. All oh, right, wow. moving on in other celebrity news, y'all. Congratulations to Queen Latifah, y'all. She's being recognized by Harvard University, y'all, this year for her contributions to black history and culture. Now, they're saying Latifah is one of the six honorees at the ceremony, which is going to take place later this month. Now, um, Latifah's album, All Hail to the Queen, they say she sold more than one million copies. And the single UNITY earned Miss Queen Latifah her first Grammy Award. Now, Latifah has also earned a claim for acting, making her first Oscar nomination for her a performance in the 2002 blockbuster musical Chicago and an Emmy nod for her portrayal of blues singer Miss Bessie Smith in the 2015 HBO film Bessie. So congratulations goes out to Queen Latifah. Have you talked to her, Brad? No, I haven't, but congratulations. That's you. awesome. She's yeah. doing big. She always doing big things. Yeah, she stay busy. It's she so also nice got and Flavor sweet. Unit and they got TV shows and all kind of stuff going on. Yeah. She's awesome and she helps